hello friends welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video so this is week 4 assignment of python programming cec course friends uh, please watch the video till the end without skipping because if you skip the video you may miss some valuable content in between the video and also if i change in any solution uh, you may not be able to access it so do watch the full video to get better understanding so let's see the first question what will be the output of the following code guys i can tell you that uh, the solutions are 100 percent correct uh, there is no doubt in that but if you feel uh, there should be any change in the answer you can please comment in the comment section so i'll try to reply for the valid queries so before the submission moment once again check the comment section because if there is probable change i will mention it in the comment section but i think there will be uh, no changes but anyway once again visit the comment section for any changes so for the first question they are asking what is the output of the following code so they have initialized i is equal to 0 so while i less than or equal to 6 i should be incremented by 1 and if i equals 3 at, at the moment it should uh, we use continuous statement to skip that current iteration and move to next one so it will print from 1 2 and it will leave 3 and 4 5 6 7 so what is the probable sol i mean what is the solution here it will be first option 1 2 and we will skip 3 and next 4 5 6 7 so the correct answer is first option and moving on to the second question what will be the output of the following code so they have initialized i is equals 1 and, and sum as 0 so while i less than or equal to 5 so we should add sum and i so they are asking to print the sum final uh, sum value so for second question when i did this in the compiler i got the option as 15 so mark third option as correct answer for second question and moving on to the third one what will be the output of the following code so they have given a code and they are asking to give uh, asking the output of the following code so for third question the correct answer is option 2 that is answer 8 and moving on to the fourth one what will be the output of the following code so they gave a code and they are asking the output so for fourth question the correct answer is first option that is 1 3 and 5 so because it will start with 1 and there should be increment of 2 so 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 2 5 and we have given the final uh, range i mean extreme end as 6 so in python we know that uh, it will execute until the just just uh, 1 minus the final value so up to 5 only it will print so 1 3 5 moving on to fifth question what will be the output of the following code so for fifth question the correct answer is option 1 that is true so when we did this we will get the answer as true and moving on to the sixth one what value of x will be printed for the following code guys for your convenience i will zoom this for you yeah i think it's enough so for sixth question what what for what value of x will be printed for the following code so for sixth question the answer is 
second option that is 150 so mark option 2 as correct answer for sixth question and moving on to the seventh one what values of num here num is a variable so for what value of num will be printed from the fo following code so for the, this given code we will get the output as 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 so the only option given that matches our answer is first option so mark first option as correct answer for seventh question so let's move on to the eighth one so in the eighth question which of the following is a valid for loop in the python in python so guys uh, we know that so this is not the pattern it will be valid in c program and java program so it is not valid and if you see this it is valid but here there should be column symbol here also the same process there should be a column symbol so the, those are missing here and on, on also in this option so only valid is valid uh, syntax is third option so mark option 3 moving on to the ninth one which of the following statement can be used to explicitly control looping so guys we, j we know that uh, the break statement will break that iteration so it will be used to explicitly control that for loop or any loop so they are asking the same so the answer will be first option that is break and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one what will be the output of the following python code so they gave code and they are asking the output so for 10th and the final question of the assignment the correct answer for it for the question is it will give a compilation error so mark third option as correct answer for 10th and final question so friends hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends if you want to suggest or if you want to have it uh, if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section i will try to reply for the valid queries so for further more videos like this keep supporting our channel until then goodbye